good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends, colleagues. Um, it's really a great honor for me today to introduce our speaker. I'm Austin Nevin, a professor here at the Court of and Head of the Department of Conservation. And my colleague, uh, Director Sue Bowman, told me to give a simple introduction. But there is nothing simple about the site we will hear about today. And indeed, it was my the first time I went to Mogao in 2004, my eyes and my world completely changed. And it has been a real pleasure over the last two decades to follow the work of uh, Dr. Subo Min and his colleagues. And when I went to Donghong the first time, I learned and I continue to really learn a lot from the work of our colleagues in uh, Donghong. Uh, world Heritage Site and a place where the Courtauld has a long history of collaboration. From the 1990s, when we started working with the Getty Conservation Institute at Dunhuang in the conservation of KB85, to today, when we are talking about future collaborations with our friends and colleagues in China. So it is really a great honor to introduce uh, Director Su Bomin, who, like me, is a conservation scientist and chemist. But you wouldn't believe it when you hear his talk. So, uh, welcome, Superman. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening, um, dear teacher and uh, dear students. Uh, I'm very honored to have a, a very good, good opportunity to give a speech and uh, introduce our work about conservation uh, work in mobile courses. We have a long uh, cooperation project with the Coastal Institute in the past uh, almost 15 years. So Coastal help us uh, uh, construct a system a teaching course about uh, conservation wall paintings training. Uh, Koto also helped us uh, training a lot of students uh, in our academy. Uh, so they uh, become a, a very uh, good expert about uh, in, in Doha uh, about uh, uh, neural conservation. So today I introduce uh, our analysis technique, the topic is the research progress uh, neural uh, pigments and the detection technology of Dunhuang Mogao Project at Dunhuang. So, uh, my, uh, talk, my speech is, uh, in, uh, I, I, I'd like to introduce uh, from the following five uh, aspects. One is a general introduction about Mogao protocol. Another is uh, in organic pigments and uh, organic pigment or organic uh, colors, I think. Is, uh, four is the detection of technology uh, and method we used in Doha and the calculation. So firstly, I give a very brief introduction about Doha. Uh, as an important to know, the yeah, Silk Road, Doha is a place where is a great four cultural system, includes including the China, India, Greece, and the Islam. Uh, Mogao Grotto also important a physical witness to exchange among the ancient civilization, which is a Buddhist art treasure with the largest scale, longest endurance, greatest content, and the most complicated uh, preservation. It was based into uh, World Cultural Heritage by UNESCO in 1987 as uh, one of the first batch of uh, sites uh, in China. Uh, uh, about the contents, a style, and the manufacturing material, and the crafts of the mural in Mogao Grotto. 
uh, carry of aware state uh, periodically characters, races, and body rich information on uh, aspect of uh, history and uh, technology and art with an uh, extremely uh, important research value. So, uh, here is, uh, sorry, uh, this picture shows the um, uh, Mogul Goto's uh, sym symbolic, uh, symbolic is a light pagoda. If you have been to Mogul Goto, you can, you, you must, you must, uh, I suggest you must uh, take a picture in the front of a light pagoda. This is a, a picture is very famous. It's uh, uh, in Han Dynasty. This uh, cave, three, two, three, Han Dynasty. Uh, Chinese Han Dynasty is the uh, first, uh, maybe, how to say, ambassador uh, by sent, uh, uh, sent by the Han Dynasty Emperor to go to a West country. In, in ancient China, so uh, uh, he is uh, uh, open the ancient Silk Road. So this is a very famous picture, he, a very famous uh, uh, picture in China. Uh, his name is Zhang Qian. So Mogul Grottoes and the success instruction of uh, Ten dynasty include the Bei Liang, Bei Wei. This name is a Chinese uh, dynasty name, and the uh, Bei Zhou, Sui, Tang, uh, Tang dynasty divided the four periods: uh, early, high, middle, and the later Tang. Five dynasty: Song, West, Xia. Uh, and the Yuan show the veins of development and the evolution of Chinese Buddhist art in the 4th to 14th century. Mural in different times show uh, share the different painting style. There is also a big difference among their material and the crafts and the uh, work painting making technique. So you can see these pictures. You can find the different style and the use a different, uh, just like uh, people's figure and the costume and the color and the different, uh, according to different dynasty. So uh, Mogul Goto construction period uh, lasted 1,000 years. So it's the biggest, uh, to sites in the world. <clears throat> so we show some picture. So you can very beautiful pattern. So we have a different, uh, uh, different style and uh, a different color and a different uh, uh, just the people uh, finger and a different uh, pattern. So. And uh, this is a uh, figure. Uh, figure. You, you can see, use a different color to paint it uh, the different style. Uh, so this is a uh, uh, Dohuang mural, uh, mural making technique. So uh, they, this picture sh show the painting technique. So from uh, rock, a uh, uh, carved in the controller uh, red uh, rock, uh, just like uh, uh, open the caves. And uh, on the surface of the uh, rock, we put the very coarse mud and uh, mix with the uh, straw and other fibers. And, uh, this is a fine cross, a fine mud cross. Uh, very, I uh, use a very fine particle mud uh, uh, mixed with uh, just like a fiber, very fine 
uh, fiber. Uh, uh, sometimes they use uh, mutton and uh, wool and uh, some, some material like this. On the uh, fine cross, we use uh, plaster, this uh, uh, white plaster. On the surface of uh, plaster and uh, the painting, painter, and they use a different color to draw in the different, the, uh, different uh, wall paintings. So in the past uh, maybe 20 years, we try to de develop the cystic analysis technique for determining what kind of uh, material uh, making uh, wall paintings. So our purpose is uh, firstly, we should uh, determine what color uh, just like uh, organic colorants, inorganic pigments, um, and uh, how to use these uh, pigments and the colorants to uh, painting, to join the uh, patient wall papers. And uh, another purpose is uh, investigation of the neural graphs information, uh, especially in the wall painting technique, just like uh, sketch line, background layer, and the pigment allocation, and the layer position. And uh, another purpose is the uh, initial uh, condition of the pigment disease, and the pigment deterioration, and some pigment may be changing color uh, in, in the surface. And uh, another purpose is uh, we should identify the past restoration material, uh, consolidation material, because uh, as you know, uh, some past uh, consolidation work may be not so good uh, from the today's way. So, so this about our outcomes will provide uh, important information for images, identification, assessment, on the mural conservation condition and the mural conservation and the restoration. So after analysis and the research for decades, we have basically found out a species in organic and organic pigments using dogon mural and obtain the information of uh, of pigments use the uh, manufacturing crafts in different time. Meanwhile, we also found parts of uh, painting was uh, severely uh, discolored. Modern analysis and the detection technology were widely applied, thus uh, formed the technology, uh, technological system with uh, combined in CTO analysis, detect, dictation, and the laboratory analysis, dictation, uh, detection for mural pigment. This application continually promotes people's recognition of valuable historical uh, information such as ancient mural painting technique, color change and the material source, which provide a major scientific basis for mural conservation and uh, restoration. Uh, the, this picture shows how we used uh, the some uh, portable instruments and the portable equipment uh, used in the uh, for dictation uh, detection uh, for uh, wall paintings. So uh, now we, we just uh, introduce uh, how, uh, uh, which kind of uh, pigments used in the uh, Mongol uh, mural wall paintings. First is white. White we include the colonite, uh, different purity, they use a different white, uh, colonite, calcite, gypsum, and of course, 
and very few of continents. And uh, in the maybe Sui and the Tang Dynasty, uh, the painter used a white mica and the tuck used a white, uh, white pigment and a hydrate. Some of the very few is uh, use a white lead. As you know, white lead is very maybe popular in Europe, in European wall paintings and other uh, white pigment. Uh, this picture shows some uh, uh, old, uh, some old uh, white pigment. This is a calcite, gypsum, and the tuck and the collinage. So, you know, lead red and uh, a uh, 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 white lead, uh, usually a white lead can change into the black. Uh, it's a very popular uh, phenomenon in the, all over the world, every, every, uh, every size. So, we, we, now we just do some research in the Mogul Grotto, how uh, white lead, uh, white lead, and and uh, uh, and the lead white, uh, red white, uh, red lead, and the white and the uh, uh, lead white, how to change it to black? Uh, this uh, uh, chemical uh, reaction uh, from the Elibesa to. to 2022, he gave us uh, a lot of uh, reaction about uh, how to change it. This is a uh, uh, red, uh, red pigment. So in Dohuang, we can use the several red pigments. The main red pigment is uh, uh, three kinds of. One is uh, silver, it's very popular in the world. Another is uh, eye oxide red. Another is uh, red lead. It's the main three kinds of uh, uh, Dong Academy. Uh, 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 very few we use a uh, regular and uh, some other uh, red pigment. So this is a uh, mineral cinnamon. This picture is a mineral silver. This is a mineral silver used used uh, just the Buddhist costume uh, and the uh, Buddhist miles and uh, other some very clean uh, clean touch and the clean uh, location, a very very key location, an important location is uh, this kind of pigment. Uh, this. Uh, is an uh, ancient book recorded in, the, in ancient China how to uh, how to make the cinema uh, the process. This is also from the uh, ancient text and uh, tell us how to make the cinema use uh, artificial uh, artificial process. Uh, another uh, red pigment is uh, hematite. Uh, uh, sometimes we call it the iron oxide. It's a very pop uh, very popular, especially in early period uh, China. Uh, in early period, the more more photos of all paintings. So, uh, uh, this picture uh, there is. Uh, just like uh, plaster, yes, use uh, use uh, hematite. Uh, using the uh, plaster, uh, no no white layer. So this is a very famous uh, wall paintings. Uh, tell us a very interesting story. It's a nine color deer story. I mean, the Chinese Chinese can. I understand this uh, very famous book stories. 
So another is uh, a red lag. A red lag used very popular in the early uh, more, uh, early wall paintings in Mogao You can you can see from this picture the bodies and the face and the bodies and the face and the color changing into the brown and the black. The original color is the red, just like this. This way through the microscope, we find the most of a, a large part of a changing the black. And uh, some of them also remain the red colors. So this, uh, so now we also uh, persist uh, uh, we made a uh, we made a uh, research uh, for a uh, try to look for the reason uh, and uh, try to look for mechanism uh, how to uh, regulate uh, change into the black. So we have uh, maybe we guess uh, we have uh, different uh, factors and uh, different uh, influences. One is. Uh, biological influences. Another is uh, maybe light and the temperature. Uh, another is uh, maybe uh, sunlight uh, can change into the, the, the uh, can let uh, the red and the into the black. So are <coughs> also a very useful and a very popular uh, another uh, organic pigment is a blue. Blue is the main kinds of uh, is a two kinds of a blue pigment. One is uh, azurite. Another is a very important and, and a very uh, very important uh, uh, mineral uh, mi mineral pigment is a lapsus uh, so anybody know that's where they come from maybe Afghanistan not uh, from to to China uh, not not from China because uh, in Silk Road especially in the west part of uh, China Xinjiang and Gansu is a Silk Road uh, along uh, uh, along this road there are a lot of uh, roads uh, especially in the early period, most of uh, blue uh, pigment use the left side is Xinjiang. And uh, until uh, Tang Dynasty, most of them uh, use uh, Azerite. And uh, in the Qing Dynasty, maybe uh, 18th century, use uh, this size out of Mary is, or, or we also is artificial lips, three kinds of uh, uh, blue pigment. Uh, this, this is a uh, this is a uh, train rotting. Uh, this is a lips lively, lips lively, a train from Afghanistan to Europe, to China. Uh, uh, in this picture shows the very earlier use uh, this this blue pigment is left side. This left side very neural picture. In ancient China, uh, left side also is a diamond, just like the diamond. It's very expensive. Uh, another kind of uh, is uh, uh, green. Green, we have uh, two kinds of green. Uh, in the early period of Mongol photo, we use the attack match. Uh, attack match we use in the green. Another is malachite green. It's, uh, it's the main composite. Okay. This is a mineral picture. So we show the uh, different uh, the attack match. You can see this is a 
uh, this picture from the K, uh, Morgan KO85 we co-creation project with the Get Conservation uh, Institute and the Koto Institute. So this is a picture uh, photo by the Lori <laughs> in the 2013. So this, this color is uh, a tank match. You can see very fine and very heavy, uh, different color. But the different color uh, use a different uh, particle size. Okay. It's the same uh, mineral, uh, same mineral, but a different particle. So ancient painting can use a different particle uh, drawing the different uh, uh, style, maybe a different layer. That's this. So you can see cross-section is a, a tuck mind, a tuck mind. It's so very fine, just like this, is also a tuck match. This one, this one just like this, very, um, how to say, done, very light, uh, very light, very light uh, color, and a very heavy color. So another is, uh, you know, get, uh, is a yellow pigment, is a yellow ochre and the orchid and the mineral yellow. So you can see this is uh, yellow. Uh, but in Doha, the model growth uh, mineral, very few used uh, yellow colors. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> this is an argument. But we found in the past uh, investigation and analysis in uh, we found some some arguments can change a black just like this uh, can change. We we also try to find the reason how to argument can change into the black. Uh, another color is black. Is black black in China is a very pop. Uh, is a most of them use uh, ink, use, use uh, uh, ink, because in the ancient time, uh, use uh, ink so for drawing, for writing, so very popular, very uh, commonly used in, in ancient time. So in the past, uh, maybe 15 years or 20 years ago, we uh, published we publish and we write paper just to say most of the uh, uh, pigment is uh, inorganic pigment used in the Morgan Brutal. But in the recent years, we use a different technique to find the uh, large amounts of uh, the organic colorants in Morgan Brutals. Uh, so one is uh, popular is uh, indigo. Indigo always uh, uh, mix with uh, in other uh, mineral uh, pigment is mixed with because on the uh, anise layer is uh, is a mineral uh, pigment on the surface use uh, indigo just like this this uh, just like this also you can we we can determine the what kind of color just like this. So, uh, after investigation and the analysis, we find on the surface is indigo. Another way we find the result is uh, black, red, black, red pigment, just like this. This also from the uh, KV85. So you, you can see the different color, which is very, very different just like uh, other inorganic pigments. Another uh, is a uh, yellow uh, colorant uh, is organic uh, pigment. But we, by now, we cannot uh, get the, the analysis result uh, on the uh, wall paintings. So, 
uh, as you know, analysis technique is uh, help us to find more information about ancient technique, uh, mural, uh, about ancient mapping or painting technique. So uh, we, through the international cooperation project, as I learned uh, so many expert uh, knowledge, uh, we developed uh, a system uh, cystic, uh, cystic uh, uh, analysis technique, they include the imaging technique, multi-spectral image, high, high, hyperspectral image, and macroscope image X-ray, broad spectral, and uh, micro technique. We have a portable digital uh, microscope a polarized microscope and a scanning uh, electro uh, microscope. About uh, in that, uh, elements analysis, we also have X ray, XRF, and <coughs> induced breakdown spectrum, and they include the X ray different uh, FDR, Raman spectral, and the fiber reflection spectral and the GCMS, HBLC, and other analysis techniques. So this is uh, our uh, laboratory have uh, a polarized microscope. So we use, uh, uh, use this instrument for analysis uh, cross-section. So we, we can find a different layer to use a cross-section picture and we can measure the uh, pigment thickness and the plaster thickness, so we can get uh, some result of uh, uh, wall paintings technique. So this uh, particle is uh, through the microscope, a uh, polarized microscope. This, uh, this is MRIs, I think, this, uh, have a very just like this, this kind of phenomenon. So we, we also have a portable microscope. So it's a very useful analysis technique. We can move this instrument uh, into the cave. So we can uh, detect any part of uh, uh, wall paintings. So we, we find a very detail in both the plaster linen in the gold bowls and the summer pigments discolor and the discoloration of the pigments change. So you can find the summer black and the red in the in the uh, mobile gold for pages. So and this is the red red and the black. So this is SEM uh, uh, we can find very more detailed information. I include uh, just like a fiber structure and the different layer and the different uh, mineral. Uh, this we have a multi-spectral image. This <coughs> is like a telescope. <coughs> we like five, five years ago, we have a pro, uh, collaboration with uh, Nordic Pan, Ms. Liang Haida, you know, Professor, Professor Liang, and the cooperation, do some uh, investigation work uh, in the local programs. This is our uh, multi spectral image. So we use uh, this image, we find a lot of more information, just like you can see. This is the original, just like we use a normal light photo. This is a UV light photo. So we can find, we can find the UV light, and the UV light, we can find a lot of paper in here. So they display the technical analysis, uh, technical work is very important. If we did uh, not do this kind of analysis work, maybe, in the later restoration, maybe misunderstanding and uh, 
So this we find some uh, step. This is uh, the neural step. So we also uh, developed uh, the systematic use of multi-spectral image can determine what kind of uh, pigment. We can use uh, this method to determine most of uh, most of the uh, pigment and the organic appearance. Because this is a no, and a normal light, this is a, this is IR light. We can find this. A normal light, this green. The FDR and this green. And the UV light is yellow. So we can buy the, this a different color. We can determine what kinds of pigment. This also is a hyperspectral uh, image uh, used in our leverage. This uh, we made a test. We use uh, uh, pigment uh, in the K990H. So we use uh, a hyperspectral uh, image and scanning from on the surface of all pigments. So we can find this part, this part, and this use a lapse laser. If we use a, just for example, we can get this, we can get this kind of very whole information. We just use a scanning, a scanning technique, use hyperspectral, we can get uh, some very important information, uh, very important uh, uh, result. This is a fiber reaction spectrometer. We can easily, easily to determine the indigo and the attack match. This is instrument. This XRF is very important. It's a very portable and very useful um, instrument. So we can we can determine what what elements used in, in neuro and then used in all papers. So we can according to elements we can uh, treat or judge. Or we can judge. We can judge uh, middle or what kind of middle. Uh, this is uh, another kinds of uh, X-ray fluorescence spectral. It's a desk type. This way we can do some uh, high definition uh, elements analysis. Uh, this is a new uh, equipment uh, we bought um, in last year. In last year, we use uh, this is a scanning XRF. Scanning XRF. Uh, <coughs> So, uh, uh, for example, uh, this picture from the Morgan photo is 19 age. So, we can use a scanning technique. We find uh, two kinds of elements uh, located in the same position because this. Uh, uh, Acidic, this is acidic, and the left is the same uh, position. So it's uh, explain and uh, indicate the in the ancient time the graphs use uh, different, uh, same color, uh, mineral, and uh, maybe want to uh, explain uh, want to display the different effort expert. Uh, for, for, for color. We also find a lot of very interesting phenomena, very interesting, and uh, use a uh, pigment technique. Uh, this is X-ray diffraction, as you know. This is a very, very traditional analysis technique, uh, analysis equipment, uh, and used in the, uh, all over the world it's many, many uh, lab use uh, this kind of instrument. This is uh, 
uh, portable infrared spectral gators. So we can determine just like a malachite is very useful for, for use this kind of treatment. This is Raman spectrometers. So we use a Raman, we, we can determine a red light and the as right uh, white lead, this as right and the white lead is a red lead. Uh, we also developed uh, and uh, do some research uh, <coughs> using the laser induced breakdown spectrometer. We, we also uh, get a very interesting result uh, through the, this kind of research. We found that the, we, can, uh, we can do this, this change. Uh, we, can, we can find a difference. The, uh, different uh, uh, particle size, uh, same color, and uh, use a PCA method to uh, to indicate the result. So about uh, organic material, we use uh, HPLC to analysis just like binding medium. We, now we can do the uh, by the medium use uh, HPLC. And uh, they also developed uh, the ELISA test method. So also use the ELISA detection. It's the uh, same age material, just like egg white. But in, in more powerful, most of uh, wall painting use uh, animal glue. By now, we cannot, find, we cannot find any other uh, by the medium. But uh, in China, we do a lot of uh, science uh, conservation work. So we found uh, some, especially the two uh, wall paintings uh, in south part of China and the middle part of China. Some two wall paintings use the uh, egg uh, as a uh, by the medium. We use the uh, as So. Some of uh, uh, investigation results indicate uh, in the ancient and uh, especially uh, early period uh, dynasty, uh, including the Sui dynasty and the Tang dynasty, uh, most, uh, some of the uh, uh, occasion may be ancient crops you mix with uh, uh, organic color and uh, uh, or organic color and the mineral color. Uh, this uh, organic color we use uh, uh, you you use a uh, multi spectrometer with the UV light. We can we can find the UV light picture can can see shining just like that. We also. Uh, we use uh, HPLC, PDA, MAC, and uh, find uh, this color, just like this, just like this. This color, maybe it's black dark. Uh, some we all uh, find is uh, indigo and uh, some other uh, colorants, just like that. Other colors and uh, uh, carbon and uh, ink. So we also use uh, uh, HP LC and the uh, uh, cross section technique and the SEM find the detective, uh, find the organic and the simulated material, gold fossil mm -hmm. material. This is a uh, golden force. Golden force use uh, animal flow to use uh, more papers. And uh, this is uh, other part, uh, other size of uh, wall painting, especially in the Tibet. Okay. This is a Tibet wall painting, just like this. So 
We also use the API and the PCGCMS find the, the on the surface of the Tibet uh, wall painting technique. Use a very special and a traditional uh, wall painting on the surface. It's a tone oil. It's a tone oil. Tone oil uh, also very easy to deter deterioration on the surface. So in the Tibet, uh, we do some consolidation work. It's hard to restoration to deal with this this kind of a phenomenon. Uh, this is uh, uh, in the past. Uh, maybe some uh, conservator use uh, different uh, uh, industrial material to consolidation work. So we use uh, FDIR to do some uh, in in situ uh, analysis. Okay. This is the Zhejiang province. Uh, Zhejiang from the Zhejiang province on the surface, we find the use of, uh, industrial material is very damaged to the, to the, the wall paintings. So now we uh, cannot, it's hard to determine, remove the method and uh, keep the method. Uh, so this is a very hard problem. So. We also uh, detect some uh, organic pigment and the same material is uh, on the uh, surface in the past. Use uh, just like a consolidation material. Use uh, a modern industrial material and uh, uh, put it on the surface in the wall paintings. So it's uh, a very serious damage in the so, as the most important mural heritage in China, Mogao Baozai's mural is a crucial witness of uh, mural manufacturing material as well as the heritage uh, in evolution technique along the Silk Road. Knowledge about mural pigment and technical information will provide scientific references and a historical basis for art history archaeological study and the mural conservation. After continuous exploration and research for years, we have had a relative systematic and a comprehensive understanding and recognizing our mural material technique in uh, at Morgan. Meanwhile, accumulate great experience in the expert application of detective detection technology in the future we will conduct a deep research on explanation to pigments, discolor mechanism and the identification of part of uh, uh, partial organic materials. I introduce analysis method and the technological method with high accuracy pigment source and their deterioration process of Dunhua Mural will be shown systematically, periodically, and the correct characteristic, characteristic of the uh, material and the painting technique of the mural. When we further use, we, we will try to restore its uh, developer routine, enrich and improve knowledge system material and the painting technique of the mural. Uh, that's all. That's my.